I'd like to show you how to put together the hydrogeologic conceptual model of the Piedmont. This will include hydrogeologic units, the flow system, hydraulic properties, and dimensions. So we'll start off by drawing a topography on a simple um, cross section and then some contacts for the geologic units. We'll just color in these units to make them easier to visualize. So this is the fractured rock and the transition zone. I just drew in the saprolite. Here's sparsely fractured rock beneath it. Then there's the stream and the water table. We'll label the saprolite at the top, the fractured rock, and intact to sparsely fractured rock underneath it. And then between the fractured rock and the saprolite is the transition zone. This is the rock type, crystalline, metamorphic, and, and igneous rock. So this is also an important part of the geologic setting. And now the flow system, we've got a roughly vertical flow down through the Vedo zone, and then groundwater flow through the saprolite transition and fractured rock. Um, recharge coming in on the left side is on the other side of the groundwater divide, which is right here. So that flow goes off in the other direction. There's the flow paths. Now we put in the properties. The saprolite hydraulic conductivity is going to be around 10 to the minus 6 meters per second with a fairly high porosity, about 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.4 to 0.6. Um, the transition zone, uh, hydraulic conductivity a bit higher, about 5 times 10 to the minus 6 plus or minus a factor of 10. Fractured rock, and uh, it's about the same, but it has a much lower porosity. Intact fractured rock can be as low as 10 to the minus 10 uh, hydraulic conductivity, but it could range up to 10 to the minus 6, depending upon the degree of fracturing. Now, the porosity of the intact sparsely fractured rock, though, is going to be quite low. Um, 0 0.005 to 0 0.02, this will be primarily dominated by the porosity of the, the crystalline rock itself. We're also interested in the dimensions. Um, the depth to water table in the Piedmont is going to be roughly 20 to 50 feet. The depth to the rock, though, will be uh, greater than this, 30 to 150 feet or so. The distance between streams is important because this will set the boundary conditions for the flow system. In the Piedmont, the distance between streams is approximately one kilometer. And we're also going to be interested in recognizing the Vedo zone and the saturated zone. These are um, basic components of the overall hydrologic flow system. This leaves us with a sketch of the hydrogeologic units the flow system, the hydrologic properties, and the dimensions, all important components of the hydrogeologic conceptual model of the Piedmont. This will be an important starting point for addressing a variety of problems related to hydrogeology in the Piedmont province.